Staying in South Carolina, they are continuing coverage after an arrest in a deadly hit and run accident. South Carolina Highway Patrol says a Ridgeland man, Joshua Frazier, was arrested in connection to the incident that killed tow truck operator Eric P.K. Albertson in late December. Today, the towing company Albertson worked for has a message for drivers. Orion Tismaneski has a story. The team at A1 Towing are thankful that an arrest has been made, but say Albertson's death could have been prevented if drivers do what they're supposed to do. Stay alert, slow down, and move over if you see the flashing lights of a tow truck on the side of the road. One of the company's owners said A1 Towing does all they can to keep tow operators safe on the roadway, but need drivers to help too. Tow truckers are no strangers to close calls. Even recently, we had an employee that saw a vehicle oncoming, not moving over. It was an RV on the interstate. Had he not jumped to safety, he would have uh, probably been hit by that RV. Um, as they rode by, he saw the driver on their cell phone. Davids says tow truckers tend to be the unsung heroes when drivers run into trouble on the roads. So they really are in a class of first responders and they're putting their lives at risk to help stranded motorists oftentimes with their families to remove them from harm's way and to get them to a safe place. Other first responders agree. South Carolina Highway Patrol says working hand in hand with tow truck operators and construction workers is an important relationship. When tow truckers can work safely, they can work quickly, getting damaged cars off the road and preventing more collisions by getting traffic moving. They are very important when it comes to roadway safety. Uh, tow truck operators, as far as getting vehicles out of the road, getting someone that's broke down out of the road, um, and then construction workers, you know, they'll, they're building more infrastructure and safer and bigger roadways for us. You can find our coverage of when the hit and run first happened on WTOC.com. Reporting from Jasper County, Ryan Tisbaneski, WTOC News.